Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks to help you to style your coffee table. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Asma Diab. I'm an interior architect and in my channel you're gonna find all the topics about interior designs and decor tips to help you to decorate and design your home. And also you're gonna find very interesting DIY projects and art tutorials. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be updated every time I upload new videos. So some of you guys, when they are designing their living room, they just don't pay enough attention to the coffee table. Some of you just leave it blank or just put something in the middle and that's it. But styling your coffee table as a statement to your space, it moves your living room in a way higher level of great design. So when styling your coffee table, you need to keep in mind four things. One, what's the material of your coffee table? Is it glass? Is it wood? Is it marble or any other natural stone? Two, what's the shape of your coffee table? Is it round or square, rectangle or any other geometric shape? Three, how many surfaces? Is it one surface or two levels? Or it's a group of nesting tables, like two or three tables with different heights? And what's your design decor style you use in your living room? So these things will help you to determine how to style it and how to deal with it. So don't be afraid to style your coffee table in the way you like. When you start to style it, maybe you feel it's very hard or no, it's just a clutter, but when you work on it and just move a little bit some stuff, maybe you turn around some other item, you're gonna end up with a very stylish and decorative coffee table. So all of these things and the tips I'm gonna share with you right now will help you to style and decorate your coffee table. Well, tip number one here is the group of three. Some of you might heard of that because it's one of the interior design secrets interior designers most of time use. So this rule of three groups, it doesn't mean like just the three items and that's it. Of course, you start with three items, but you can add more. So it means three elements and elements here could mean like many things, but they are shared with the material, they share with the shape. So it could be like books, so you can use one or two or three books. They all count one element. It could be like box or two boxes with the lid on. It could be candles. So we consider those things one element because they are sharing in one thing. So group of three means odd number. You're focusing on using odd number of groups. So always work with the odd numbers way better than even numbers. And tip number two, using this group with the pyramid shape. So pyramid shape means like different heights. Let's say you're gonna use only three items. So you start with the highest one, then you go with the little bit lower and the lowest thing, gonna be the third item. So playing with the different heights, proportion and scales, create these dynamic, interesting vibes in your composition and form. Tip number three, the function. You're always looking for the function why you design anything because you're gonna use it and live in this space so you need to use it in a proper and easy comfort way and one of the elements you're gonna use on your styling coffee table is a thing can collect all the knickknacks and stuff and you know clutters the thing and of many things you use when you are around the coffee table like a remote control tv remote control or coasters um, or any other thing you believe you use it daily so use a one thing can collect it. Like what? Like a tray, maybe the flat tray, or uh, could be a tray with handles, could be a box with a lid. You can collect everything with the lid on it. And instead leave all of stuff loading on the coffee table, you place it in one place. So you give a final clean, uncluttered look at the end to make it as a one element at the end and make it a visual organized. Tip number four is playing with textures. So the material and textures of your coffee table, it determines what the element you're gonna use to style your coffee table. So if it's a very shiny or glass you can see through, you want to keep it very simple. 
and also use all the rough and textures elements and items you're gonna use on your coffee table uh, like you can use uh, textures um, sculptures matte color you cannot use any shiny or glossy thing on your glass table or on your very shiny surface or even your coffee table is not glass but has a very shiny surface you cannot use anything glossy and shiny as well on the top you're gonna try to use a matte color you're gonna use uh, rough surfaces very textures ones uh, wood things books with dark and not printed covers you can use wood you can use jute and keep it simple as much as you can so you need to use bold mass thing is to create this contrast to push back this glossy shiny of the surface of the tip tip number five as i told you before you need to stick with your interior design style if you are minimalist definitely you can use only one or two things that can make a statement to your coffee table in this case you need to buy your coffee table art statement as it is like if it's a sculpture uh, or like a handmade one or this trunk one handmade as well so you don't need to make it busy with another stuff on the top and this is gonna work very well with the minimalist style you just can be enough with that coffee table shape as itself and you nailed it and what if you're not minimalist now we're gonna work on a styling and play with many elements as much as we like Another tip, what if your coffee table is nesting table, like this tray one? In this case, we styling only one or two surfaces you have in this tray table because you already have this interesting dynamic look with these different heights of the tables itself. So now let's try a practical way to style your table. First, I always like to break it down into three vignettes to make it easy to add elements in organizing way. So in the first vignette, you can use a book stacking, adding some like uh, small plants or small sculpture on it. And in the second vignette, you can use this uh, tray with handle or flat tray, round or, or rectangle shape. Or even you can use a bowl, you can collect a lot of things inside, as I mentioned before, to create all of these knickknack stuff as a one element. And in the last vignette, you can use like a volume, a higher volume, like a vase with flowers, olive leaves, or maybe some group of candles, or anything that different height, that, but they are higher than the rest of the elements. And if you have a huge square coffee table, instead of breaking down into three vignettes, you can break it down into four vignettes and start to play with the element like we did so. And my last tip here, keep your surface as much as you can uncluttered. You can play with the elements, you can decorate your coffee table, but don't overdo, don't over decorate it because you're gonna end up with the clutter thing. So you need to make a balance with that. You're trying to formalize composition, not a pile of a clutter. And I'm gonna end my video with the most important tip, which is personalizing your space. So you need to add your signature as I always recommend in every decor video I share with you. When you try to style your coffee table, add your signature, like personalize it with your stuff you have a memory with. Like if you're gonna use a sculpture, for example, use a one can reflect your feelings, the, the one you had a memory with it, uh, it's telling a story, anything of these sharing emotions and memories you're gonna make a bond with so anything can tell that story about you or sharing emotions sharing feelings that's way better you can use very cold feeling stuff pretty yeah but it's not that warm feeling and not belong to you well guys now we came to the end of the video i enjoyed made this video actually i love to styling coffee tables styling any console or dining table so i enjoy making this video for you guys i hope you enjoyed and liked it as well and very soon i'm gonna upload a video how to style your dining table or console and nightstand i hope you liked the video don't forget to like share and subscribe 
to my channel and see you next time. Bye.